Hi there. Many of you asked me questions or wanted me to do a video about my budget travel. So I went to Croatia and vlogged a bit during my first two days of the trip. Tell me if you like this kind of a more laid back video in the comments. Enjoy! I've always used planes to get to the places I wanted to visit. Hitchhiking is a more affordable way of transportation, but it takes much more time and you can't easily reach islands, which I always prefer to visit. Depending on where you live, you're gonna need to make the decision to pick a way to get there. I always buy cheap plane tickets and this way it usually takes only a couple of hours to get to the final destination. How and where to buy cheap tickets varies from country to country, but in Europe we have this cheap airline called Ryanair that I usually use. In most cases you have to buy tickets some time in advance to get really good deals. This time I paid about 100 bucks for the round trip ticket to Croatia as a last minute deal two days before the flight on a travel agency site that charters the whole plane. This is all I packed for the trip. I use a 40 liter backpack and in most cases I wish I had a bigger one but I found that this size is the biggest I can take on a plane with me as a carry-on luggage. On those cheap flights you have to pay extra for check-in luggage, so it's better to take only the carry-on. Clothes is something you're not going to need much of. I take two pairs of shorts, two long sleeves, one t-shirt, one pair of underwear and two or three pairs of socks. Why so little? First of all, you want to stay as lightweight as possible because you're going to carry everything with you. And secondly, I found that changing clothes too often doesn't make that much sense because you are sweaty and stinky after an hour after changing into fresh ones, so it's pointless. You can also always wash them if they're really bad. Oh, and I take only one pair of underwear, because I usually go without it, as it's something that only makes you hotter. Next, there's my lightweight sleeping bag, hammock and a windshield sunshade that I actually use as a sleeping mat. The duct tape holds it together. Then I take an aluminum pot, plastic spoon, cap, headlamp, some adhesive blasters, back with a fire starter, some string and a thread with a needle if I need to sew something. Swimming goggles, toothbrush and paste, toilet paper, bag of oats, some walnuts and raisins, rings, wallet, power bank, phone charger which is not here, batteries for my camera, small tripod, my smartphone with offline maps downloaded and a microphone. And of course the camera I'm recording with right now. This is a very lightweight traveling gear that could probably use some more items, but you have to draw the line somewhere. I just wish I could take a Swiss army knife with me, but unfortunately you cannot have one in your carry-on luggage. Hey, what's up you guys? So I have landed a few hours ago in Croatia. And the first thing I always do is look for a supermarket to get some food, water for the next couple of days. And this is what I have been doing for the last few hours. I've been walking to the nearest supermarket I could find on the map. I haven't been recording much because the traffic noise is so high there that it would be wouldn't be pleasant to listen to. And what I'm doing right now is going down to the coast to get some refreshment because I'm so so hot right now it's like 35 degrees Celsius of course this is actually why I love walking so much because if I were to hitchhike or take a bus I wouldn't be able to find such beautiful fruits on my way Oh yeah. And yeah, of course I'm going commando. <laughs> I had to do quite a lot of additional walking to get down here, but it was so worth it. Just to be able to rinse off all that sweat and cool off my body. I feel 10 times better now 
Okay, let's keep on going. I have to go back there. Half an hour later I'm on that bridge. Back to being sweaty and extremely hot. But the view is quite wonderful. Do you hear that? They are just going at it. That was pretty weird. Anyway, yeah, I finally got to the supermarket and I bought a big watermelon because I felt like I was severely dehydrated. I also bought a loaf of bread and a baked beans in a can and I wanted to eat it but it suddenly started getting dark so I just came here looking for some place to sleep and I think I found a pretty neat one just before I was distracted by those two turtles so right there there are the, those supermarkets and I came here to this park and what I found are actually those two trees where I'm gonna try to set up my hammock let's see how it goes while I'm setting up the hammock I'm gonna tell you about a couple of my thoughts about sleeping on the floor versus in a hammock I've used both in different conditions and both have their strengths and weaknesses there are two main factors to take into consideration temperature and mosquitoes hammock works best if it's hot during the night it's not very good if it's cold however because getting into the hammock in a sleeping bag or changing positions isn't very comfortable if it's really cold you're better off sleeping on the ground because you can use a sleeping mat to isolate yourself from the ground of course I'm not talking about freezing temperatures for me the lowest you can go with a lightweight sleeping bag and without tent is about 12 to 14 degrees celsius during the night. The second aspect are mosquitoes and the hammock is awesome because it has the mosquito net. You can cover yourself fully with a sleeping bag as well and deal with this problem this way but only when it's colder. In high temperatures you're gonna be too hot so you have to expose yourself to the mosquitoes more. So if it's going to be about 25 degrees celsius in the night I'd recommend having a hammock. If it's colder than sleeping bag plus sleeping mat is a way to go. However, having both gives you a lot of flexibility. If there's a possibility of raining, the tent is a must have. You can search for a roof to sleep under, but you're gonna be wet anyway. I personally always try to go to places where there's really slight chance of raining, just like this time, so I don't have to worry about it at all. So that's the actual setup. Here's the hammock and here's the backpack. This is the biggest advantage of the hammock, that it has mosquito net. These leaves are actually serving as an early intruder detection system. Some of you have been asking me how do I shower on such trips and from my experience there are three cases that are the most common. First case is the best case and it's when you are very near the sea and you just go to the sea, get in and swim for a little bit and you're more or less clean after that. Now the second case is the worst case when you are too far from the sea and you also have a water shortage so you can't waste any water so in that case you just don't shower that's all and there's also the third case in which I am right now and that means I am too far from the sea 
but I don't have uh, the water shortage because the because the supermarket is just around the corner so here is how you get a shower in that case I know you can barely see anything but that's actually a good thing because what I'm basically doing is getting naked and using a water from the bottle to clean my body it may not be the most precise method of doing that but it makes a huge difference showering this way or not showering at all just be sure to choose a place where no people can come across you because you may creep someone out okay so that's basically it for day one I'm just gonna eat my canned beans and go to sleep so see you tomorrow what's up guys welcome in day two the night was awesome I slept like 10 hours straight it was warm I haven't even had to use a sleeping bag and it no mosquitoes because I was in inside the hammock I have to move my ass and go to the store to buy some food but it's so comfy here yeah so today my plan is to go to Dubrovnik see what it's like there and then maybe go to the mountains I'm not sure we'll see what's up buddy flying turtle so I finally found some place in shade to eat my breakfast but before that I'm gonna show you what I bought in the supermarket for the next uh, day and a half or something like that food wise so I've got some tomatoes sesame bars tomato sauce that will go well with rice then kidney beans again uh, that will go well with bread some peppers really looking peppers and another tomato product this time tomato paste that's pretty lightweight Holy cow, that's a lot of grapes. So yeah, I'm back on the road. Oh. I wanted to thank my patrons for supporting the channel and contributing to the videos getting better and more interesting. If you'd like your name to appear here as well, please have a look at my patron site. The link is in the description below. Thanks and see you in the next video.